Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and I am back with some very exciting Firewall Zero Hour news as First Contact Entertainment have released an official teaser for their DLC number 2 which will include a lot of new stuff. So before I begin, I'm sorry, I know I've been a bit of a bollocks, I've been a bit quiet lately on the channel, I've been playing Red Dead Redemption 2 an awful lot and the game has taken way longer than I expected to be, but don't worry, I'll be back to streaming and the top 10 vids and all the other firewall and PS viewer stuff soon, but who cares about that, let's get on to the new DLC. So the video itself is quite short, it's under a minute, but I think it manages to tell us a lot in that short time. First and most obvious thing to note here is that we have a new contractor, it's a female contractor and it's possible that this is the Irish female contractor that Hess Barber revealed a few weeks ago during a live stream here on this channel. But keep in mind, they may have a few contractors up their sleeve and she could be from anywhere, it could be a different contractor, it might not be her at all. We never get a clear look at her face, but we do see something interesting on her waist as she walks away to leave. She has a small teddy bear wearing a red t-shirt attached, looks a bit like Winnie the Pooh. No doubt this teddy bear will factor into her backstory in some way. Similar to how Skip wears the two wristwatches, it's possible that the teddy bear might belong to her child or maybe some family member that she may have lost in the past something like that it's unlikely to be anything other than cosmetic however speaking of cosmetics though if you look at her hands which is what you'll be seeing the most if you play as her you'll see that her left hand is gloved while her right hand is not and when she answers her phone after it rings you can see she is wearing some dark nail polish first contact do a great job of making it easy to tell who you're playing as based on unique hand accessories and designs and it seems that will stay the same here for this new lady. Of course each operator has their own embedded ability but it's very hard to know if it's been hinted at here. Now we do see that she's typing away at the computer so maybe she has some kind of hacking or IT related skill, maybe she can fix your computer for you, I don't know. She also answers her phone at one point, maybe that hints at something like communication related, possibly something to do with the voice chat in the game, that's an awful stretch, I know it's, everyone has a phone, you know, but that is, you know, it's just complete pure speculation and it could be completely irrelevant to her actual skill. If you do see some clue here that I missed that you think hints towards her ability, then please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, that's all we can really say about the new contractor for now, I think, but we aren't done yet. We see that she's sitting in front of multiple screens here which change after she receives a phone call. Now I don't believe the initial screens are important, there's just some random art assets on the screen that goddamn number two again which means nothing, but when they do change and the camera focuses on them more clearly, we can see a bunch more stuff being hinted at. We see three new firearms, one new item, a new map and finally some new cosmetic skins. Starting at the top left we see an assault rifle called the G6 Commando which is clearly inspired by the real life FAMAS assault rifle. Next to that we see a submachine gun called the XM or 90 which is definitely Firewall's version of the real world P90, a weapon that I've liked ever since Metal Gear Solid 2. In the bottom left we see a pistol called the Spitfire. Now I don't know what the real world inspiration is for this gun so if you do let me know down below but the interesting thing about this weapon is that when I went over to the official First Contact Entertainment blog for their community update number 7 which comes out every Friday and it detailed this tease abyss and it was written by Damon Shabasteri and he refers to the Spitfire as an SMG rather than what it says on the screen here which is a pistol. He also says it has a big kickback and it's great for blind fire so I think it's safe to say that the Spitfire will be the first pistol with auto fire. So that's it for the firearms, so let's go check out the new item in the top right screen. It appears to be called a satchel, it's got a couple of an antenna sticking out of it as well as a big red switch I think, and I'm kinda not really sure what to make of this item. My first instinct is that it's an explosive of some kind, but if it is, then what makes it different to the C4 that's already in the game? Could it be timed instead of remote controlled? And if it is timed, is that really useful? Then I wondered if it might be some kind of non-explosive device, maybe some kind of camera or communication jammer, seeing as it has the antenna, 
or maybe some kind of EMP device that maybe disables jammers, signal jammers or something like that, I don't know. Either way, I'm very intrigued to learn more about this satchel. And of course, I'd love to hear what you guys think what it could do in the comments below, so let me know. Now in the bottom middle screen, we can see what appears to be the new map. The name of the map isn't revealed, I don't think, but we are given clues. In the middle of the screen, we can see what I believe anyway, is the actual like the map blueprint or the map layout but at this resolution it's hard to make out any of the finer details other than it's kind of shaped like a fish on the right of the screen then you can see what appears to be the country or perhaps continent that the map is located in now it kind of looks like the west side of south america from this screen going by the shape but it's hard to tell for sure because i don't know how zoomed in this image is it could be a lot of places again if you think you know put it down below finally then we get a look at some new cosmetics now it's hard to get a clear image at these cosmetics uh, but the one on the top right does look fairly unique I'll be interested to see how that looks and then that's it for the teaser for DLC number two now we don't have a release date and we don't know what these will cost or even if they will cost I suspect that the map will be free to avoid splitting the player base and it could be risky for them to charge for the weapons too especially if one of those weapons becomes the new meta or something like that so they might not charge for weapons as well but the cosmetics and even the new contractor are fair game to cost money in my opinion now there is no mention of raising the level cap so I suspect if you are already a high level you'll probably unlock the new gear straight away but we'll have to wait and see maybe they will boost the level cap we don't know just yet anyway lads and ladies i will end the video there it is so nice to have some big juicy firewall news to look forward to again and i've got lots of other firewall videos i've been planning upcoming in the next few weeks so stay tuned for that once red dead redemption 2 releases me from its vice like grip that is anyway thank you very much for watching i always appreciate it but if you'd like to go the extra mile to help me out then please consider doing all that usual shice thanks again i will see you guys on the next one and stay moist please